Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna do another project. Got my boy Victor with Mo Ranger. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the trimmer racks onto his 2010 Titan truck. If you guys remember our recent video, we did the uh, installation of the ramp, the Mo and Go system. But today we're gonna go ahead and hit, up, hit this up with the rack system. And it's also by Dale Oterio. So these are the pieces right here that, that's gonna go on. Uh, there's no drilling is gonna be, re, be required on this type of system. So Victor, let's go ahead and knock it out. All right, sounds good. It'll be pretty straightforward, I think. Okay, so these first two pieces we got here are the steak bed pieces. Pretty straightforward. Uh, one goes in one steak bed, like a so. The other, I believe, goes like this. Pretty straightforward. Cool. Then we got the rack. We won't put all of it in, but just so you have an idea. And you got this part of it goes like so and then the other piece goes like so and then we're gonna end up putting this other pieces and we'll show you in a minute but this piece and this piece is the two-tier trimmer rack and this is just an extension in case we need extra tubing I guess is what it is okay so in a tubing extension and that's it how much does this system this rack system cost what's the uh, price okay so this just for the rack itself well the rack and the uh bed rail system uh with shipping i believe it is 285 dollars okay and it's a two-tier trimmer rack so so basically two weed eaters fit on it and then you have the bed rail and then the, and then the two uh extension poles for the uh trimmer racks okay cool so about 289 for the trimmer rack and it does not come painted correct correct so it does not come painted so uh just to let you guys know let's go ahead and uh start installing this rack system okay first of all we're going to go ahead and insert these steak pocket steak bed pockets into the slot and if you can see there's a if you can swing that camera around you got to adjust the little insert that's inside to where it's right dead center of this cutout on the bed and all we're going to do is just screw it on of course once we put the railing on top it's going to give it a little bit more support let's go ahead and get, go ahead and do the other side and i let mark do all the uh, installing because he likes uh, power tools he told me that he's a real big power tool nut right mark uh, I think you're lying, man. I think you're just, just making me do all the work. That's what it is. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, guys. I like, I don't mind messing around with power tools and putting things together. So, we adjust it. Try to find the and, center. And with what, what's going on these days, it's always nice to have a, uh, another lawn care buddy uh, helping you out. There you go, man. A lot of... A lot of people, uh, lawn care guys, think that other lawn care guys are their competition, but actually, you shouldn't have that mindset. We're all out here doing the same thing. We're all, I think it's great when we all can uh, help each other and learn from each other. So. That's right. I agree with Mark 100%. So I'm not going to super tighten this up just in case if we need to adjust it a little bit. So there it is. So we got that. Alright guys, so we got these already installed. So all we're going to do is we're going to grab this, the horizontal bar and a brace. And we're going to make sure there is a nut that was in here and a washer. Screw that out. We already, we already took it out. So we're going to go ahead and lay this flush. Boom. We got the, we're able to see daylight through it. And all we're gonna do is just throw that through. Screw these nuts on. And we got old Dougie Doug helping us out too. 
What's up, Dougie? That much trying to figure out why he messed his tool up again that I just fixed. <laughs> Y'all have to have an audience, so I figure I'll come by and watch at least. <laughs> He's helping too. Don't don't believe yeah. everything Doug says. <laughs> oh, man. So we got Doug just kind of showing us some support, moral support. All right. Doug's keeping us in line. All right, before we install the second piece, we're going to have to loosen these adjusters off. And what that's going to allow us to do is slide. If I, if I can find it. Okay. Thank you, Doug. So we're going to slide this adapter into it. So let's go ahead and... Dirty, dirty. Put it on there. So let's see. There you go. Okay. You made that net too small now. It's a little too small. small. Okay. There. Let Doug line it up there. Got it. There you go. Okay. And raise this up like that. Tighten it down. So we're good there. So now we're going to tighten it up. Snug to the bone. There he is. That, that, we thought it was going to get a V twin, but come find out those are only two fifties. Bicycles, yep. bicycles with uh, motors. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put on the uh, actual the, racks. The, uh, so we're going to. Which way you, you want the engine facing? You want the engine in the back, or you want the well, engine on the front? Towards the truck. Let's put it here. All right, Doug, you want to hold that for me, Bubba? Yeah. Pull it. Pull it, Doug. Doug there you go. We want Doug to be a uh, part Doug. of this uh, this thing here. <laughs> there you go, man. Can't do it without Doug. That's right. <laughs> you can use that. The, uh, Doug's always a, Doug's always a good luck charm, huh? Yeah. He is. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> he's a luck. He's a lucky dude. I'm looking for everybody else, but not me. <laughs> Dang it, man. He's, got, he's the one with nine lives, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like, sure about that anymore either. <laughs> I think only might have one left if I'm lucky. <laughs> Hold the boat up against him. Just took, there you go. is like one of those guys with the tribal knowledge right? <laughs> yeah he's, he's, the been doing, right. he's been doing all these various things probably since he was a kid yeah <laughs> pretty much right i get live but i'm not <laughs> all right let's see we got a little bit of everything man yeah, that's i'll this. let you hold that bottom nut while i drill it With Mark. <laughs> working with Mark and working with Doug. Hey, hey, hey. Doug and Doug. As everybody knows, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> In the house, man. <laughs> Mr. Fresh, always kicking. There you go. You got it? Yeah. Let me get you. Dougie Fresh, always staying fresh. There you go, <laughs> man. All right. And as Mark says, we're here doing this. No, just, but but the weather's nice. The weather is oh yeah. There you go, man. All right. All right. So there now this side's on. I think we're gonna adjust the uh, other one because we wanted a little. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. And, back. So we're gonna. All right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get the trimmer and let's test it out and let's just see if we need to do any adjustments. 
Oh, you gotta do it like this first. Yeah. Lock it in. All right, guys, so we just installed the trimmer rack here. This is by Dell Oterio Mow and Go System. Y'all can check them out at mowandgosystems.com, I believe, and also check them out on YouTube and on Instagram. So right now we're, we're trying to figure out how to actually rack up the trimmer racks, which is, I think it's gonna be pretty easy. There it is, you put yourself a lock and it's going nowhere. It's pretty sturdy, man, I believe. So if you guys have any questions about it, y'all go check out Victor over at Mo Ranger on Instagram. I'm sure you'll put some pictures and yep. keep us updated yep. on the trimmer rack and also on the wrap itself. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, please like. If you think this video was helpful, please share it as well. We'll see you next time. Thanks.